Welcome to Film Shapes. The podcast. No, that's terrible. No, that's- <laughs> Sunshine beating on a good time. I'd do anything to catch your daughter's killer. I don't think those billboards is very fair. The time it took you to get out here whining like a bitch, Willoughby. Some other poor girl's probably out there being butchered right now. Hi, folks. Today um, I'm joined by Rolly, as usual, and a special guest, Dimity. Hi, Dimity. Hey. How are you going? Oh, yeah, all right. Good. What are we talking about today, Rolly? Oh, I forgot for a second. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah. It is, yeah. Long name. This is um, by the, I could call him Irish-English director, Martin McDonough. It's his third feature. It stars Francis McDormand, Woody Harrelson, Sam Rockwell, a bunch of other people. A lot of, lot of interesting people in this cast. So uh, I saw this at the Moonlight Cinema, the outdoor cinema, and it was a bit... It was a bit. It started softly. They hadn't turned the volume up properly, so I oh. reckon I missed the audio in the first minute what? or All two. All the audio? Well, it was very like that. That's not yeah. ideal. But I, I kind of I caught up with it. I think I understood what was happening. So, yeah. Have you been to one of those at the Kings Park? No, not yet. Uh, it's not. It's not ideal. It's not the best way to watch a film. It's, uh, outdoor it's, cinemas in general have mm. a bit of that problem. Don't they? Because mm. they, you haven't got the same sound, and sometimes there's a bit of extra light on the screen. You haven't, they haven't got control of the environment yeah. in the same way. That's right. I think, and there was a couple of birds flying overhead when it was yeah, mm. a bit distracting. Mm. Oh, sometimes the cheeky person is sit on the other side of the screen and watch oh. the film for free. <laughs> uh, is yeah. that you, Dimity? Uh, I need sometimes. Yeah. When I, you know, hey, would you see it? Like, wouldn't you see short on coin? Yeah. You'd see everything backwards then, wouldn't you? Yeah, but you know, it's all right. Oh, as long does it as it's not subtitles, it's just it like flipped. Yeah, yeah. wouldn't right. make much difference, I don't think. Not that yeah. I'm advocating for stealing yeah. movie viewing. Before we get too deep into this, sure. uh, spoiler <laughs> alert. Yeah, I think so. Spoiler. Yeah. We're, we're, it's all these podcasts seem to be very spoilery. Yeah, they so probably need to be, don't they? Yeah. If you haven't seen the film yet, be mm. aware of that. You mm-hmm. might not care. You might. You might be the sort of person that doesn't mind about that sort of thing, which yeah. is fine. I, I, I am, so I, yeah, it's good to warn people, I think. Mm. Okay. Oh, what do you think? Uh, I I liked the film, but this was a film it kept... I don't know if I've said this before about other films. Maybe I have, but it I felt it reminded me that it was a film all the time. Especially yeah. in the second <clears throat> half. I felt <clears throat> the first half of, of the movie, um, you know, when uh, Woody's character is still mm-hmm. around, that... That felt kind of like I was involved in there, and then it started throwing up things at me where I was like, "Oh, that's right, it's a film, and they're showing me some kind of new." A bit too clever editing. for itself, do you think? Yeah, I don't know. It was just unexpected. The unexpected things that happened in it mm. kind of threw me a bit. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, yeah, you have said that before, and I'm not. If you if if you think you're what you're sitting down in a cinema <laughs> or, or at home watching something on TV and you think it's not a film. <laughs> What's going on? I don't think it's not a film. I'm just being reminded of the process. So it's like mm, it's okay. almost like looking at a painting and instead of looking at the picture, you're looking at the brush strokes. Oh, right? wow. good analogy, sir. Which sometimes, sometimes people like that. Like uh, mm. Some people like seeing the craft of yeah, filmmaking yeah, yeah, sure. apparent in the film. Mm. You want to in- involve yourself in that suspension of um, disbelief. That yeah. Kind of like- Get lost yeah, I'm in bit, it a little bit. I'm a bit commercial in some ways. I, I'm more... I just want to get lost in it, like yeah, you say. Yeah. yeah. Do you think he, he does that too much? I felt the second yeah. half did... Yeah. Did, you know... Have you seen his other films? He's only done two others. Oh, yeah. Uh, hang on, one of them... In Bruges? Yeah. Did he do? Yep. Yep. Yeah. And um, Seven Psychopaths. I don't... I haven't seen that one. I don't no. remember a lot about them, but... Yeah. yeah. I thought In Bruges was... Good. Yeah, I liked that. Really good. I'm not sure it's as good as this one, but for me anyway. But he's got a brother who also does, I think it's John, yeah, who's done a couple of good films and a couple of those type that you you kind of think, oh, he's just being smart here, just being clever. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Okay. Maybe that runs in it's... the family. <laughs> yeah. Dimity, what did you think? Mm. I actually thought it was magnificent. So I'm I'm on a totally different page, I suppose. Um, I thought it was really um, it was really raw, like drawing attention to just the fragility of the human condition. Um, it's just so like the there was so much like 
closeness and intimacy. Um, there was really like close moments and then followed by like um, violence. Mm. <laughs> like, yep. so it was like this ongoing story of people just throwing their pain at each other. Yeah, so right. they'd, they'd be like really deeply wounded by something and then like throw their pain at everybody else. And That's then those, those people in turn would like roll over and then mm-hmm. they throw their pain at somebody <laughs> yeah. else. So it was yeah. like, Oh, I mean, even just the the beginning, like putting up the billboards in the first place, like it's like such a heinous crime yeah. that happened with um, her daughter. Mm. Um, but then the first thing that she did was like, right, cool, I'm going to, you know, throw my pain really mm. loudly at Chief Willoughby, who is actually like going through cancer, so he's yeah. going through his yeah. own. He's like, not a bad guy. Thing. He's a good no, guy. No. He's one of the good guys. Well, yeah. But that's a good thing. There's no real good or bad in this. And I suppose Rockwell's character is trying to overturn that. He, he's generally bad, but he's trying to do some good at Sorry, the is end. that Dixon? Yeah. Yes, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Willoughby, I think, actually refers to him as one of the good guys. At, Does he? Or, yeah, <laughs> he's, oh, he's a good man at heart. He's a good yeah, man yeah, at heart, okay. you know. Yeah, yeah. But is he, do you think he is he? A good man? No. Well, I I think that's the thing is that there is no, like, good or bad here, like... Yeah. All of the characters, like, you couldn't say any of them were good or bad. They mm. all did really horrible things. But they all, yeah. they all showed, like, this really deep sensitivity to them. Mm. So it's... Yeah. I, yeah, I agree. I think it's a, this film is successful in that blurred line between right and wrong, and which is closer to reality, that in some ways it is closer to reality. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people are after a quick fix or a, a neat, tied-up conclusion are not going to get that with this... <laughs> Which is which is great. It's one of the the benefits of this filmmaker, I think. I was, watching his stuff. I was just thinking: is there if there was a character in is there a character in this film that you would relate to more than you know? Uh, are you a Chief Willoughby? You know, do you feel like? Ooh. Um, I don't think I related to anybody in this film. Uh, you know who I was uh, feeling the go on. the son. Oh, you know when the. When mm. um, there's a couple of scenes, I think, where the mum drops the son off at school, mm. and every time there's <laughs> yes. some some heavy shit goes Bit down, the son's kicking. just got to go. Oh, mum! Yeah, uh, mum's just being rude to everyone. Mum's just like. Yeah. Do, do you think there has to be a a, a a proxy for the audience in every film? Or yeah, I think there, I think there does, but it can be flu- a fluid thing. Like it mm. changes as you go. But sure. at, at some yeah. point, I think maybe an audience wouldn't engage with it if they can't relate to anyone at all. Well, yeah, that's true. Well, I suppose we're meant to to align ourselves with with Mildred, is that her name? Mildred. Mildred. Yeah, 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 I thought it was yeah. Margaret for a minute, but it, it's Mildred. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's our, she's the the focus. And what she's doing is, is, is probably right, but maybe in the wrong way. She's not supposed to burn down yeah, out, you know, I mean, police stations and things. That's but. the thing is that you, you, you follow her because you think like, oh, you know, she's doing yeah. something righteous. Yeah. But every time she acts, it's um, it's always at the detriment of everybody around <laughs> yes. her. Yeah, she doesn't care whose who yeah, like, feet she's stepping on. Yeah. I mean, even, um, yeah, just having like zero empathy when uh, Willoughby tells her like, you know, I've I've got cancer. She's mm. like, yeah, I know. Like, um, <laughs> yeah, the whole town knows. Yeah. yeah. What, what, is, what is it she said that, um, yeah, that I, they wouldn't be as effective after you croak. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. The She's right. But Willoughby, he respects that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does he? And I really like his, um, his letter back to her mm. at the end. Mm. Oh, well, not at the end. It's probably in that second half of the film is where yeah. it starts. Mm-hmm. But um, it was like he describes it as his poker move, uh-huh. uh, I think. And it was, uh, was he said that's right, yeah, because he pays for the next yes, round of. Right, I right. thought that was pretty. Clever. That was a good. I liked that good wrinkle, wasn't it? Yeah. See, that's something that I can imagine would really happen. Mm. Whereas her bombing the police station, like that, just sort of jolted me out of, like mm. that's kind of mm. major terrorist sort of crime yeah. style now yeah. like they're going to get to the bottom of that and they're going to find out who she is pretty easily right i would <laughs> yeah. think yeah that's also like really um openly showing like just how much um grief can destroy somebody like mm. just she to the doesn't point give a fuck anymore. She, yeah she she's totally gone there mm-hmm. like you know she's negligent of her son's feelings mm-hmm. um yeah the the like blowing up the yeah. police station mm. 
And she, like throwing ki- cocoa pops in her son's uh, hair, ki- kicking <laughs> um, ch- children like in the in the groin in the yeah. groin yeah. area yeah. at school, like yeah, that's what? full on. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. someone who's not there anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's quite funny. It is the um, you know, and the the priest scene in the house as well. Right. She has oh, good, I love that. Good that was yeah. pretty good. That's awesome. Yeah. Um. Hmm, yeah, but no, I did feel sorry for the son. I've, I've got to kind of. I felt overall, I was. Kind of, he's the sane one. He's kind of yeah. the normal one. I think that in most the, of us would film, yeah. relate to coming yeah. from a normal town that isn't this fucked up place where mm. everyone's violent and throwing their violence at each other. Yeah, you know? but even so, he did very quickly pick up a knife and put it to his own father's yes. throat. Yeah. Oh, under certain, yeah, yeah, under, like under, under, under certain yes. circumstances. But ev- <laughs> everybody enough. in this film is capable of extreme violence. That, everybody. Yeah. That brings me though to. The other annoying bit, which was okay. the girl for the young girlfriend of of the ex husband, oh, wife yeah. beater. Like I just felt that was just a, a lazy, lazy character. Let's make her as stupid as possible. Anyone under yeah twenty two or twenty five in this film is that's female is just dumb. Mm-hmm. How, what? Uh, there's only two in there. Yeah, maybe. Um, no, there is the well. There's the, oh, that's the a daughter. really good point. Hey, there's the daughter who's yeah. who's like, well, is not, that dumb or just sort of irresponsible? Teenage, well, yeah, yeah, teenage, yeah. but yeah, but that, she was yeah. so the um, sorry, the one I was talking about, she mm. was so stupid. Yeah, like who walks in with it? There's a there's a strangle and a knife going in. Who walks into a house and goes, oh, I just need to use the bathroom. Oh, it's a bad time. I'll come back. I do. That didn't seem that jolted me out. Yeah, I'm okay. just saying it jolted yeah. me out again mm. because it was so silly. Mm. And, and the, the, that, the female character in the advertising office too, they made her pretty dirty. That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right. And then she gets a good face palm, yeah. you know. And we're all like, ha ha. Ha ha, ha slapstick. Yeah. And I thought that's where I what I didn't like about the film maybe was some of the slapstick mo the physical comedy around the violence and stuff didn't work for me. But you know. Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, he did toss that guy out the window. That's that's a, uh, you know, is that it, was that comedy that that no, was a, a comical moment? No. Whereas yeah. the girls like the her getting, um, oh, well, the the knife scene where the girl comes in needing to use the toilet. That was a for me. Well, it was that, a very I, I slapstick sort of physical. Yeah, I, d- mm. I didn't. I didn't love her character so much, but it, he needed a few gags in there. I suppose that's a way of in light, lightening up the mood <laughs> from an it, almost. <laughs> Yeah. Domestic violence situation? Yeah, yeah, but it did it in a very (laughs) kind of... uh, Yeah, it wasn't very subtle. No, no. (laughs) Uh, The the only thing that that made me go, "Mm," was the the Peter Dinklage character. I wasn't too sure whether he's... I mean, because he he had a a dwarf... Can I say dwarf? Small person? Well, I think think dwarf is technically the right term for Peter... Dinklage, I think he might refer to himself as a dwarf, but they kept calling him a midget. Oh well, which is wrong. Which yeah. Is, yeah, that was. He said of... that himself, I think, in the film. Anyway, um, he in in Bruges, there's another dwarf character who's oh quite a big part of the film, um, but there are some cracks at his height as well, obviously. Yeah. Um, and this happened a bit. I, I don't know. I, I'm on the fence. I'm not sure if they. He has a few jokes like that. I'm just going used, to the little boy's room, and uh, yeah, yeah, it was used bit. kind of just yeah. purely for for the effect of making short people jokes, wasn't it? It was. Well, well, I thought that to start with, and I read some stuff about it that yeah, maybe oh, okay. maybe he comes across as one of the only sane or normal people in the town, even though he doesn't look like all the other folk. You know? Yeah, I, okay. I don't know. Like he he balls her out a bit for. You know, trying to pity him where she also should be pitied as well. So, yep. Yeah, yep. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about. Do that. you think we'll ever get over that? And we're having, you know, you can have a small person in a film without all the uh, Other the small people jokes. The yeah, they're always him. taking oh, the piss yeah. out of him. Like, there's a film just... called the, the Station Agent with Dinklage in it, and I don't think they made any reference to that. To yeah, the fact okay. that he was, it was a three way sort of love triangle. I can't remember, but I don't remember them. Focusing on the fact that he was a dwarf, so it can be done, I guess. All right, yeah. he's pretty badass in Game of Thrones. Right, doesn't take any prisoners. Well, no. you don't watch Game of Thrones, do you? What do you do? You watch Game of Thrones? <laughs> of course I do, man. Oh, okay. Of course right. I do. So, okay, <laughs> mixing me up with some other I don't loser. Know. I don't know, but yeah, that was uh, that was the other thing. 
This ex-husband guy, mm. is there any anything to say about him? Mm. I mean, he's an asshole. Yeah. Mm. But is there anything... Uh, I watched this film twice, and the fir- after the first one, I thought, oh, maybe they're kind of getting at him being... Kill, killing the daughter. And oh, I've heard that rumor. Mm. Yeah, second watch. I doesn't really work. get that. No, that doesn't work. Um, yeah. The other guy that comes in, yeah, he. What, what's his? What's the point of the ex-husband? Uh, I, I don't know. Is what is it... the point of the ex-husband? <laughs> well, is it obviously he brings more violence into the <clears throat> yeah story. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's one more person that she, we see her encountering and dealing with in some way. Mm. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. I think I think the ex-husband should get together with um, Dixon's mum. Yeah, or Dixon's mama, <laughs> my mama. They'd probably go to poker nights or something. <laughs> That's it, that. Just on that point, um, I read something from Ryan Gilby in the Guardian, who said, and sort of on your topic, Rolly, that it doesn't really ring true that the the sheriff quotes Oscar Wilde, and right. that the mum Dixon's mum was watching a Nick Rogue film, Don't Look Now. So. That, would that happen in this small oh, town of Ebbing, Missouri? That's a bit strange. Yeah. Those things might have been thrown in because the director is quite erudite, you know, and quite happy with himself. Yeah, yeah, okay. But, I mean, he's no, got, I he's got, good, that. He's got good reason to be. Definitely would not have picked yeah. that. Yeah. Hmm. So, I, may, I don't know, maybe they're a little bit not in character, but they're tiny things, I think. But, but I think they're a good characters like as in and you're seeing like Dixon's mother and the ex husband mm. you're sh- you're showing like through them you're showing like how an experience with this person would shape the other character like you see how Dixon turned out because of his mother <laughs> yeah, yeah true yeah yeah why like, don't I you mean, fuck our friends over yeah That's yeah got you any get friends you, you can fuck over <laughs> yeah. and then yeah. and then he even like says to her at one point like I'll I'll blow your goddamn head off like right. to his own mother yeah like yeah, she's like, yeah. what are you gonna do? I'll blow your goddamn head off. It's right. like, oh wow, that's, that's beautiful yeah, language that's that right. you guys have developed. <laughs> and she's like, that's yeah. my boy. Hey, right, oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But then you get right. like an understanding into his character. Who at first you're like, oh my god, who is this guy? Like mm. he's like he's racist yeah. and he's violent, and and then he like ends up you know being someone that you quite like like by the end. Yeah, oh yeah, like yeah. I, I felt mm, that's some um, go on. I felt Dixon. He sort of gained 20 IQ points after that uh-huh. fire somehow. He just got yeah. smarter somehow. Mm. Oh, and well, some, so, someone more... gave him a little bit of confidence. Like that letter was really yes. nice, you know? Yeah, okay. I think we argued about this before, and yeah. I think I'm on Dimity's side here. That, yeah, I that, figured. That was a central... I figured. <laughs> that was a central point that he got that letter, he read that. At the same time that all that shit happened to him, he got burnt to a crisp as yeah, well. Yeah. So maybe all that sort of knocked something out, out of his... At alignment or into alignment, I guess. No, you're not buying. But then, that well, just to go from that to the point of like, I'm going to get this guy's DNA by scratching his face and then come home, you know, and I'm going to let him beat me up. Yeah, and... but he's done. He's done police training, obviously. Yeah, he's just a layabout until that. Yeah, great shock happened to him. Yep. Uh, on his on the subject of that, um, he won, I think, a Golden Globe Best Supporting Actor, and oh, he's probably going to win the Oscar Best Supporting Actor. Um, there's been a little backlash about his character that he shouldn't be lauded for for this character. Why? Because, because it's not a likable character. Not just that, um, but generally that. I mean, apparently he's yeah, he's not likable. He's a, a racist bully, and there's no comeuppance for him in the film. That's people. People seem to be upset that he doesn't get his just desserts in this oh. film. Well, he did get his face burnt off. <laughs> It's pretty bad. Mm, yeah, no, mm. I don't think that's fair. It's just, it's a film. Yeah, you know, it is a bit but, odd. Odd that people suggest in a film he didn't this this didn't work out. The justice didn't happen to this guy, so we shouldn't be awarding him any any awards in ceremonies like that. Well, has the film itself had any <coughs> award a back nominations? Oh or? yeah, yeah. It's I think it's got about eight. Oscar noms. Um, D- McDormand is going to win the Best Actress. She's unbackable favourite. Okay. Put, yeah, yeah. Put, put eight bucks down, you get one. Yep. That kind of thing. Uh, Rockwell will win. The editing and the score are nominated, but they're probably outsiders. Uh, mm-hmm. It's second favourite for, for Best Picture as well. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's been a lot of buzz around this mm. film, which is why I'm being 
slightly harsh on it. That's I all think right. as well. What, um, what's that? What, is, what do you mean? What? Are I'm you just a, trying to be contrary? No, I'm not just being a contrarian. I, but I think there's definitely some little things to point out about it that made it. Yeah. You know, I wasn't fully engaged in the experience. I kept having to think about the mm. film that I was watching being made. Okay. You don't like that at all, do you? Not so much, no. Well, I but, I don't mind that, but I didn't actually feel that through the film. I was yeah, with okay. the characters. I was in that little town. So. Were you with Willoughby's wife? Mm, did, did you feel her yeah. act, her Australian accent? Oh, that mm. was a bit odd. Yeah. Well, I'm that happy. Was that was jarring. That was <laughs> jarring. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it did seem I thought odd. she was I, really good. I couldn't I even tell character. if she was acting well or not. Like it was just too much that accent. It was. What, what am I listening to? It is strange to hear that, but I'm glad they kept her accent. That's pretty yeah. rare. I mean, she has done American accents, of course, before in films. So, they could, it you know, would have been easy for her to but, do you know, that. If but... you're going to give shit to the to the dwarf, why not have someone going at her about her accent as well? Uh, well, would you. Oh, okay. Because are, are we... Uh, Chuck another shrimp on the barbie, <laughs> mate. You know? Mm, I don't think you okay. can equate I'm those taking two. it too far. A little yeah. bit. Tell, by yeah. the way, you're looking at me. Yeah. All right. I think you're talking about, like, you know, not liking the the believability of the story. And then you're going to be like, oh, Chuck another shrimp on the barbie, love. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I mean, you didn't really get to see her character in play all that much, apart no. from when she's with Willoughby. And I thought that was really, like, their relationship was so beautiful that it really smashed you around when he left. Mm. Yeah. How old do you think she would have been? Because I mentioned that thing about people under 25 in the film. You know, she was obviously not in that group of, of ditzy no. young girls. But was she supposed to be, you know, but she's obviously a younger wife. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't know. Late or was that in Woody Harrelson's contract that he's got to have a younger wife in every movie? That Don't, no, I wouldn't say so. Look at Woody. Come on, <laughs> he's, he's great though. He, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He is good. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Uh, well, yeah. The ending. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. I liked it. I'm no problems with oh, the ending. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for. But yeah, I'm waiting for it too. Well, yeah, no. I like it. it doesn't have to resolve. Like no, that's right. Uh, I liked it too. Mm, yeah. we we didn't need to he- hear any more of that, like chasing that. No, you know, no, no. There's that shitty guy. The the end the the conclusion, I suppose, is that those two are almost about to make peace, and pricks can do good things, and good people can do bad things. I suppose that's what we're supposed to. Take I feel from like that. they're going to go to jail, both of them. <laughs> oh by man! By the end, possibly. <laughs> Yeah. I like that it's like along the road, however they go, they've then got to decide what's right and what's wrong. Yeah. Like, because that's that's the discussion they had, like, you know, are we are we going to do this? And um, they're like, I don't know, we'll find out along the way. Mm. So maybe, I mean, maybe the hopeful thing is that they don't because then they learn. Yeah, yeah. That, well, that's you it. You know, yeah. anger, like what, yeah, the big quote in it was anger begets anger. Mm. So which is pretty much what the whole film's about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Well, that, I guess you could see... Do you think they're going to kill this dude? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Rolly? I'm going to wait for the sequel. Oh, oh fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a, bit of a, uh, that's a bit of a spinning top. Do you think... End. No, there shouldn't be a sequel, though. That, no, that would be not. a bad thing. Don't be silly. There's not going to be a sequel. No, I know. But Jesus. I've yeah. heard it said. I'm just repeating. Do you... Um, just to bring another film to this, do you reckon that the top stops spinning in Inception? Oh, uh, see, I wouldn't mind a sequel to Inception. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see what happens to that spinning top. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, that's a bit like that, isn't it? Do we do we think that he's going to die or not, that, that dodgy character? Mm. Yeah, no, I think, I think it's going to be complex. The reality of it would be as complex as the rest of the film was. So he kind of, he gets his just desserts, but then... It also fucks up some other thing and makes yeah, things right. worse as sure. well. And know. he actually, it turns out he didn't do all that. He was just blowing yeah. bullshit anyway. Yeah, so. and there's a good reason. You know, he's got a very abusive mother too, so. <laughs> who, who watches yeah, Nicholas Rose? It's even films. worse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. But I, I really enjoyed it. I think we're yeah, me too. in agreement. I enjoyed the film. I did. Great. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys. What's next, Rolly? No idea. I think it's going to be Black Panther. Black Panther. Oh. I Great. So. That's, that's a new one. Okay, we're yeah. going to be going to be close to the line on that that's good close to the line 
of release. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. sure. That's just your, is that movie jargon or role sure. jargon? Sure, well, let's go. <laughs> We're close to the let's line, guys. That. All right, nice one. Thanks, guys. See you. Bye. See ya. Bye. Why don't you put that on your good morning Missouri fucking wake up broadcast, bitch? <laughs>